Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle Boyle and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. This video is a continuation of my messy extreme decluttering journey where I am trying to simplify my life for myself and for my family. So in today's video, firstly I just want to say if you're someone that doesn't struggle with clutter and you don't have that as a problem in your life then this video won't be for you. This video is for people that are coming on a journey with me hopefully to be hopefully as motivation or to work alongside or to people that also wanting to are wanting to change their life and remove clutter from their life for everyone it is a journey and there should be no judgment because it is very confronting for some people and it is a process for some people I used to think that I was failing I used to think that I should be able to just go and do it in one session and just get the job done and maybe we've seen that happen on TV, but for the most of us, that's just not reality. One, we don't have the time to do it like that. And secondly, it is a process. It is a process of letting go. And for many of us, it's a process that's hard on different levels. There's blocks on different levels for different people. So that in mind, it should be a non-judgment zone. People should be free to declutter the way they want to, the best way they can. So... Today's video is really about 24 hours, probably more like 48 hours in my life where I am tackling the hardest part of my journey, which is getting the items that I don't want any longer, I don't need, I have no use for, out of the house. And should I sell, should I donate, that process, the guilt behind the items, feeling like there's so much wastage, all the things, all the emotions is what I go through this weekend. and. And so many times along the way, I almost gave up. I almost quit. But I'm not a quitter. <laughs> I'm not, if you know me, I'm not a quitter. I am determined always to get the job done. But it has been a hard process. I am exhausted emotionally, physically exhausted. But the good news is, is that there is an incredible result that happens. There's an incredible transformation that happens in this video. And so if you want to come on this journey further with me, then let's do this. Okay, so I just want to reflect back to two years ago when we moved into this house and I decided that I didn't want anything within the home area that we weren't using. And I had decluttered so much of our stuff already before we moved into this house. And then when we unpacked, we decided to still keep out of the house all the things that we didn't want so that we could simplify our life. And this is all the items that ended up in the garage. So when I look at this now, and see how far I've come. I feel quite proud, but still there's so much further to go as far as getting rid of the stuff. So that's what we're doing today. We're continuing on this journey of which when I look back at this, yes, we've come so far. Okay, so left in the garage at this point in time, there's seven bins of quality clothes. And these are clothes that have come through the family and I have donated some and I have given some to friends. And then these are the quality items that I was going to resell. And as you know, I resell on Marketplace and on eBay, and it's been a very, very successful business for me. I also, too, have purchased from the Salvation Army or from charity stores to resell if I see a bargain. So it's a mixture of those sorts of items. But they're all quality items, but I don't want to do that anymore. I've made a decision in the last few weeks that reselling is not something that I want to do anymore. I don't want to hold the stock. I don't just, I just have other things in my life now that I want to do. So I want to close this off. The other reason I want to close it off is unless you can dedicate yourself to it full time, it's not worthwhile. It's just costs you money to run this business unless you can dedicate it or it be a full time or you know, a part-time or job that you are basically allocating time to every day. And I no longer can do that because I'm too busy. So it's time to say goodbye to this business, which means taking all my individual listings down off eBay and Marketplace and basically selling all these items in bulk and sizes. And that's what I'm sorting right now. And just as I make that decision, I get contacted via Marketplace for this big bundle of books. So anyway... Let's get back to the garage and this is how my sorting has gone so far. So these are all the different piles of clothes. This is what's left, just a couple of bins. 
And this is me upstairs ready to photograph this bundle, which is a bundle of, I think it is size six clothes. So I'm getting that ready to photograph. I've done all, taken all the listings off Marketplace and eBay. It took so long, so much longer than I expected. I've worked out postage. So 20 items fit into these big postage bags. I've worked out all the cost. And I'm basically going to list the items for a dollar. And I'm going to use it as an experiment for all of us to see, is it worthwhile selling the items on eBay? Because if you're going to do it, because if you're going to do it, you need to do it quickly. It needs to be a fast process. Okay, so here's my next bundle. This is my size eight bundle. Uh, what's in here? Oh, this is just from Jessica's room. She's just bought me a bunch of her clothes saying, hey, you might as well sell these too while, you, while you're going about it. So this is some of her latest items. Okay, so I'm going through the usual process with Jessica's clothes. The quality items that can be resold are sorted from the rubbish, which is this pile, are sorted from the donate pile, sorted from piles that she, of items that she thinks maybe her friends want. So we've got all our different piles here. And then I'm going to get back to listing a few more tonight. And this is a bundle of size six again, I think. And so this is going to go up on auction tonight as well. And the problem with this, though, is even though it seems simple and easy, you've still got to sort of lay them out like this, and then you have to photograph each piece individually. So it does take time. And I'm going through, and then now the sun's setting, and I haven't got very good light there <laughs> to take the photograph, so I'm going to have to leave it for tomorrow. Okay, so this looks bad, but it actually is really good. Huge progress has been made. I'll take you over now into the moment, so this is not being a voiceover, and show you where things were at on this particular day. Okay, right. So here's where the sorting happens, and I've pretty much sorted everything now. So I've got... Oh, actually, I've got one more lot of boys close. So we've got boys different sizes. One, two, three, four different sizes. This is size small. That needs to go upstairs now for photographing. So that's done. So we've done the boys. Um, boys. So once I add the other few boys things to these, that should be like all piles of 20. 20. That there is size 10 younger woman. Size 10 older woman there that is I've got a pile upstairs as well I forgot to show you that is um, charity and so this is not much left well there will, it will still take some time but not too much time that's the rest of the boys clothes there shoes those black boots are going to charity um, the rest are listed and then today I've listed in here these are items that I've listed individually because they're, well, I'm just getting rid of them for a dollar anyway, or very, very low prices. But I've actually got them for the first time packaged, ready to send out with thank you stickers on them. And they're labeled by lot number, lot, L-O-T, lot numbers, two empty containers. And over here, I've done three, I've done three huge uh, lots of 20. So there's three bags there. And then this is a teenage girl clothes. And that's about it. That's really it. So I'm pretty sure I've, so I've got the size six upstairs, so I'll fit that in there. And then I'll fill this big container with the boys' ones. And then there's not really, I don't think there's going to be much else. So that's really good. What else do I have to tell you? So I'll show you quickly, um, I'll put on the screen, no I'll put, in the, I'll put in the description the eBay site so you can actually go and follow and see if anyone's bidding any money on these lots, two, how many lots are up at the moment? I think there's three lots up at the moment and then there's a whole bunch of uh, 99 cent items. I've taken everything down off my eBay website, I was selling stuff but at like really good prices but it's just a long process selling as a reseller or selling is a long process you, you list things up and then it just takes a long time but you sell at good prices if you're wanting to do get rid of things you just list them for a dollar and just just see how they go so hopefully by the end of this exercise you'll be able to know in your heart of hearts 
you'll be able to know, you'll be able to know, I'll be able to know, is it worthwhile? Or am I just going to have, have spent this time putting things, putting these packages together and they sell for a dollar and it ends up costing me? Who knows? But we'll see. And then that may help people like me who find it really hard to let go of things because they think that there's some perceived value, realize that there really isn't. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to find out. And those that feel that, oh, here's another example. So the, there's a lot of people that have come to me in the comments and said, yeah, but I'm so worried I'm going to need the item. Okay, so here's an example of that. I've carried these two air beds around in this Salvation Army bag from house to house to house. And I thought, oh, I'll just see what they're worth. It came out, I can replace either of them for $20. So, and I haven't used, the last time I used these was probably eight years ago. And they've probably got holes in them anyway. So this is going. So that's a good feeling. These two screens are going once I can find out what to do with the electronics. Uh, and then, the thing we're going to talk about today, and, um, you know, this is just how things have been for me. Like, just not being able to let go of things. So, we have these things here. So we have these two really cute, that was for the twins when they were younger, these two really cute Peter Rabbit cups. And I've just really been trying to sell them, really, because I really, a lot of the reasons that I sell things is because I really want them to go to the right homes, because I love the item. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting a bit over that now. These, I love these, but I actually I was thinking about them in the middle of the night, as you do. I was thinking, why don't I use them again? But anyway. I'm not going to do that. This just should just go in the rubbish, but I won't put that in the rubbish. I'll try and recycle it. There's someone on Marketplace that wants this thing, but they just won't turn up. So um, I might just gift it. And then this, this is, this, this is probably my most symbolic item of the problem I have with decluttering. I have moved this from house to house to house to house. It's always been listed on eBay or Marketplace. It's never sold. I mean, who wants it? I mean, seriously, who wants it? Well, I can't even lift it. But I love it, even though, and I have used it as a vase, and I have tried to use it, but I just don't like the blue. I like, I'm quite like plain things. So it was never going to work for me. Um, but I think about it all the time. And I always pack it. Every time we move house, I always pack it. I always find a spot for it. Anyway. So if this is going, like, tomorrow, I'm just going to gift it on the, um, what's it called? Buy Nothing sort of website. That's a huge move. It's like the cord box. It's a huge move. And lastly, on that note, too, these are the other, these are the other wedding presents. That, that goes with that glass jug. And this set here, which I really wanted to go to a lovely home because it's so beautiful. It's all handmade. It's beautiful. But nobody wants it. So I'm sure if I give it to someone for free, they'll want it. But no one wants no one wants to pay for it. So I've only just found out about that gift website. So I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I think <laughs> that's my jackets that need to be hung up from winter. And I know it looks like a hot mess, but I am making progress. So this is this I've been doing this as an exercise for all of us so I hope it turns out worthwhile if not at least we know and I'm not really going to spend much more time on it because I've got so many other things to do and today's Saturday and today's my birthday so it wasn't exactly what I had planned but it's fine because I actually to be honest I really enjoy it <laughs> I really enjoy the challenge of it now at this point in the video I was taking you through the eBay that I had done and explaining my account and the changes that I'd made and how some of the items on there are my clients items that I list for her and how she sets all the pricing for that and then showing you the new auctions that I had put up. But it's not that relevant now because of what happens the next day. So stay with me and we'll move into the next day and what's going to happen there. So here we are the next day and as I said, I made a lot of progress yesterday, but I haven't been able to sleep overnight. I've just been thinking to myself, I don't want to spend another day photographing. I don't want to, I just don't want to be working with these items anymore. I've got real work to do or work that I'm doing now to do. I just don't want to be doing this anymore. And there has to be a faster way. I just want the items gone. And I thought, can I do this? Surely I can do this. Surely I can take these items and just donate them. 
So I get Jessica's help to bring some objectivity into it and she's just woken up so she's just lying on my bed and there she is and so we're going to bring up every item from downstairs and we're going to go through it really quickly and just talk about the item and whether it is possible to donate this, these quality items or not and remember what where the item came from and just really quickly. So here we are starting to go through that process and it may sound really strange to you but this is how my brain works and this is how I have to do it to be able to let go. At this point, I don't feel that I'm going to be able to do it. I just went to talk to my husband about it. I phoned a girlfriend about it. I talked to all the children about it. And they were all so supportive and everyone wants everything gone. And I feel like it's my responsibility to get rid of all these amazing items. So I just kept bringing more and more upstairs to my bedroom to try and work through and find a way, find out what my block is. What What is the problem? I love giving. So why can't I give these items to people and give myself some space to move on in life? And because I don't want to do this anymore. So as you can see, it's a lot. And yeah, it's a lot. So I'm going to bring a notebook up. And even though Jessica and I have been through all of these items and I feel comfortable about letting them go now, it was still a process for me. So I shut the door. I thanked everyone for their help and I did it my way and I don't film it because it took me a while to get through it not really that long probably only an hour to be honest but I had to do it my way I had to just process it all and then let go and as I said there was a few tears just because this is something I never thought I could do and it's really letting go a huge part of my life for the last 20 years and something that's been very successful and here I am biting my nails as I process this and I am quite emotional but anyway once I got started it was easy and Jessica said to me mum just do it with the expectation that you're going to feel really bad for two days but it will pass so I did it on that basis but guess what as the bags started to fill up and as I started taking things downstairs I started to think about all the different charity bins that I was going to put the clothes in and all the different places that the clothes could go and I started to feel excited I started to feel free I started to feel light and I know that sounds so cliche but seriously, that's exactly what happened. And now, as I'm speaking to you here, it's the next day, and I can't wait to get started on the next thing, which will be my wardrobe. But as these clothes started to disappear downstairs, I felt lighter. And I looking, the bags haven't gone to charity yet because I'll take you with me and we'll go and do it together. But I'm not touching them. I'm happy for everything to go. So let me show you, here's my process that I'm about to start, but let me show you as things start to progress. So there was my first six bags. And then I kept working through, I kept working through. As I said, I'm not showing you the actual process, but we got down, got down really quickly. Once I got, I sort of started out slow and then I got momentum going and it was so easy. And I basically kept two containers of 15 items that were just such high quality and such amazing value that I just wanted to sell those and the rest is gone so here's all the empty containers from the beginning of the year remember the photo that I showed you at the beginning of this video of basically what we started with well this is where we're where I'm at right now and I'm so proud I feel so proud and as I show you the door in a moment and all the items ready to go oh just let me say these items are all the boys clothes and I've contacted a friend who has younger boys and friends and she's taking all the boys clothes all the boys shoes and she's so happy and I'm so happy that they're going to her and that she can just basically take them and use them and these items are rubbish <laughs> they're basically going to rubbish and yeah I'm just excited <laughs> I'm so excited so let me show you where I ended up there's my two bins of um, items to sell. And I forgot there was a whole container full of shirts. So that should be pretty easy to work through, I'm thinking. There's my two containers to sell. That's it. And here are all the bags that are going to charity. So there's a lot of, I've counted the items, by the way. I haven't got the number on me now, but yeah, I have counted them. So I will share that in a, another video coming up 
where we might talk about some other aspects of what happened in the last 48 hours. But anyway, this is my wardrobe and I'm expecting this to be really easy now. And I've got a new process that I want to use in going through this. So I'll share that probably on the next video. Okay, so I'm going to continue on now because I am just so in the zone and I know I can make a huge impact on the life of my family really, really quickly now because I seem to have turned a corner. I thought that I was going to feel very um, uh, weird. I was preparing to feel weird about it, but I don't. I feel amazing. I feel lighter. I feel, you know, you watch those videos where people say, oh, I feel lighter and I don't regret it. And, and I used to think, oh, you're right. Okay. I'm going to be the only person that doesn't feel that way. Well, guess what? I feel exactly the same way. And I thought I was that person that could never, could never feel that way. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really love to have you here and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.